Hi and welcome. I'm El Dimitrius and in this video I'm going to show you how to get ultra realistic graphics and visuals in City Skylines. I will show you the settings I use in my city. This short tutorial will help you make the game look close to the real world. So let's say you have just loaded up City Skylines but your game still looks like this. We are going to fix that. In this video I go over all the mods you need and show you the settings I have used. I will place a link to the collection of mods I use in the description below so you can get them for yourself. But before we get into the mods, let's have a look at the in-game graphic settings. In the graphic settings, you want to make sure your quality settings are at the highest settings possible. If you have a high end PC, you can also set your shadow distance to very far. You want to turn off anti-aliasing, that's something we get back to because we will replace that with a mod. The mod you want to add first is Render It. This mod allows you to change the lightning and texture settings in the game. What this mod also does is include in-game changes like anti-aliasing. Here you can see the setups I use. You can always change them to fit your build. I think these settings are a good balance between good performance and beautiful visuals. Not everyone has a high-end PC, but if you think that your game doesn't run well with these settings, you can turn them down a bit. If you want to know my PC setup, you can find my specifics in the description. Team Mixer 2 is the next mod I use. This mod allows you to mix specifics from one team with another, but it also tweaks your visual settings. In the atmosphere menu, you can see my settings for latitude and longitude and also the brightness of my city by setting the exposure of the sun. In the older version of this mod, I used it to select my LUT, but that is an option that comes with the base game now. The LUT I use is Photorealistic Final, made by Reaper. The third mod I recommend is Relight. This mod really gives you the ability to change the color and lightning of your city. Again, I use these settings, but feel free to adjust them. If you have a warmer climate build, you can increase the color temperature. You definitely need the mod Daylight Classic. It's an absolute must-have mod in my opinion. Press everything off in the basic settings. In the advanced settings, you need to select Classic Fog Effect and allow Classic Fog Effect if Day-Night Cycle is on. If you don't do that, Cube Map Replacer mod won't work, but we will get to that mod in a bit later. If you are looking to have more control over the fog in your city, the Fog Controller mod is a great option. With this mod, you can adjust the settings to your liking, and here are the settings that I use but feel free to customize them to your preference. I told you we would come back to Cube Map Replacer. Cube Map Replacer is a great mod to improve your atmosphere in the game, otherwise known as your skybox. This allows you to import images into your game that simulate realistic skies. There are a few options that I use, but I really enjoy the Cedar Bridge Skybox for an overheight box look. If you are looking to enhance the atmosphere of your cities even more, you may want to check out AD Cloud Replacer mod. It brings realistic and moving clouds to your city. While finding the right settings can be challenging, I recommend starting with this mod as a good foundation for achieving more realistic clouds. However, keep in mind that using multiple mods together may impact your game's performance. If you are interested in seeing your city in more detail, you may want to try using the Ultimate Level of Detail mod, which enhances the level of detail scaling technique used in the game for better performance and visuals. To achieve a good balance between visuals and FPS, I use the following settings, but it's recommended to adjust them accordingly if you have a less powerful graphics card or a mid-range PC. In addition to Ultimate Level of Detail mod, there is another mod available to enhance the visual quality of your game, Dynamic Resolution. However, if your PC isn't powerful enough, you may want to set this mod to 200% for better performance. I hope you can improve your visuals for the game of City Skylines with this tutorial. Most of my settings came from a similar video done by Cassius Stranger, but adjusted them to my build. So credits to him and make sure you follow him for some awesome one-on-one -on -one builds. I will put a link to his channel in the description. If you have liked this video, hit that like button. If you want to see me build cities with these settings, 
may I recommend you watch my Senec Lake series. I'll put a link up here in the screen. Also, feel free to leave a comment, or if you want to know some more, you can find me on Discord. It's linked in the description. So for now, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.